In this first video for handling cargo within the Moose framework, we are going to explain how to board a unit onto a carrier. For the demonstration purposes, the following test mission has been created. There are two units within the mission. The first, let's say two groups, excuse me. The first group is called carrier, and that represents a APC sitting there from where an, uh, another group, an engineer, will board that carrier. The cargo unit will animate the boarding process towards the carrier. When we look at the script of this mission, uh, this demonstration mission, which you can find in Moose Test Missions, CGO Cargo, CGO 001, unit boarding, which is the most simple example that is available. If you open the script file, you see three lines here. So basically what we're doing here is we are identifying the unit of the engineer, which is a soldier, and we store that in cargo engineer. So this object here will contain a wrapper object within Moose called unit which we can then use to handle, and we'll come to that in a second. Now here's the most important part, that is, cargo within Moose is represented by a new class called AI Cargo. And it has different forms, and in this form we are declarating within our script a cargo of that is represented by a unit. So we use cargo unit, and then we say the unit to be represented by the cargo is a cargo engineer object, which is that unit. We give it a name, we give the guy, uh, sorry, a type, we give the guy a name, we give him a weight, how much weight he has, um, and we'll say, look, report, so when there is a, a carrier within a range of 2000 meters, then the cargo unit will report to the carrier that it is there. And the cargo can be boarded when it is within 25 meters of uh, the uh, carrier range. So, the next line will now search for the carrier. So I'm storing now, in cargo carrier, I'm storing the unit wrapper object that is represented by a carrier. Okay, so I got engineer here and I got carrier there. Now here's the most interesting part, this line here. So now I'm using the infantry cargo object and I'm commanding the infantry cargo, which is represented by this unit here, to board towards that cargo carrier here. Okay, it's a very simple line. Now what will happen when this statement execute a process will start and this process uh, you know when this code happens this code is done but the process will still be going on within the background we call this an asynchronous process and the infantry cargo is a finite state machine so you can catch events to monitor the status of that process but for that we will explore further videos as we increase the complexity. Okay, let's look how this demo is working. We are within the mission and it's very simple. Um, this board command is being activated and you see the soldier running to the APC boarding. Okay, so this explains the uh, boarding of uh, units. 